Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sean's Two Cents Goes to Libby's. Title pending. If you're if you're a frequent viewer of my show, please tell me what do you want to call this daily. What, what do you want me to call this? The daily Libby news update. What do you want me to call the show? Comment me your suggestions. Message me on Facebook. Tell me those suggestions. So we have details on the short circuit remake. The first one was built was was made around the Cold War. So now this will be set around this time. Tim Hill has been talking, and here's what he said. I'm going to read off here. Sorry, if I bow down for a minute, I'm going to read this. The thing that makes it so relevant that is that we live in the age of robots, particularly when it comes to war. We have drones that do our fighting for us, do all these jobs men and women don't want to do. That must make this so interesting. Things like the moment in the story where Johnny Wise is going to be disassembled in a complex death, the rest right to terminate someone else. They're heavy things for a family movie, but I think they have their place. So Johnny Five can get a little remake and stuff, make him look a little cooler. Tim Hill's not the most trusted director. He directed an album of Chipmunks, for God's sake. And also, Johnny Five ain't the only one to get a remake. Oh, she the character is going to be changed into a, bit, a teenage character, a tween, or whatever, to make the movie more family friendly. I was a fan of Short Circuit. It was a fun movie with Steve Gutenberg, but remaking it, I don't know. I guess you remake this, remake everything. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And in a, in, a, in a remake we didn't ask for, I don't know. I, I'm a big Screen Teen Witch fan. I watched the show. It was Mr. Hart. One of my favorite shows when I was a kid. I loved this. So, Sony has picked up Screen Teen Witch to be a superhero origin story. What? Superhero origin story? And now, for the first time in a long time, a spinning chair. What? What? Yes. Screen Teen Witch, superhero origin story. Yes. Is Screen Teen Witch a superhero? No. But Sony wants to go to Spider-Man with this for this movie. All we know is Sony's making it. That's all we know. No plot. All we know is a young girl gets her powers and then has to deal with them. That's mostly like the Spider-Man origin story, like Peter Parker. And Anchorman 2 update is uh, everybody signed on for the cast for it, but uh, who's down gate still negotiating. And the Alice script are still working on it. They're kind of tweaking it a little bit. It, we, I told you about the plot yesterday. They're hoping to shoot in February 2013 and be out by summer 2014, so we look for that. And there was also a good article about uh, how the movie got, got made. We looked that up, but Judd Apple had a great thing. It's a long thing. I don't want to talk about it all, but it was a good article about it. Also, Jason Statham has turned down the role in the Fast 6. Due to, uh, they couldn't get come to an agreement, so no Statham in Fast 6. I think that's good. I think Statham does need it. Doesn't need it. I wonder what that means for him being in the next Transformers. We'll see. And the Catchy Fire Dexter shortlist is a bunch of directors, but one to the six thousand. A thousand of Corey Owens on the shortlist. Really? He directed the Prisoner of Azkaban. People love that uh, Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban. Everybody loves that movie. But I wasn't a fan of that Harry Potter one. So he's on the shortlist. Others, David Cunning Cunningham is on the shortlist. A bunch of directors, but we'll see who gets the role. And, and old boy news. You know, they're, they're making that Korean movie, old boy. And we, we've had three people turn down the villain role. We have two people. Christian Bale has turned down. Yeah, Christian Bale has turned down. And Christian Bale, who else? Two people, two big get name actors already turned down. Christian Bale, and I forget the other guy's name. Oh, Clive Owen have turned down. The other one, the Shiloh Shio Copley, you know, for District 9 to 18. He hasn't been seen since 18, but he'll play the villain. He's been offered it now. The movie's also going to star uh, Matt Damon. Let's see. Um, Old Boy is being written by Mark Parsha, and, and Josh Gordon's going to star as a man who was mysteriously in prison for 15 years. One day he was released, given some clothes. Uh money and a cell phone he goes on a mission to figure out why he was kidnapped and was and uh, uh, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, one of the Olsen twins, one of the Olsen, the Olsen twins sister will play a young caseworker who has to on a mission. The article doesn't mention whatever production will start when the film released. Uh, and we also have news on Ridley Scott's new movie, The Counselor. It's already starring Michael Fassbender, Harvey Burdan, Brad Pitt. And, and that, and that, that ain't in a, in a Let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the delay. Let's see. I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. We're already back. Harvey and Amber Brad Pitt and uh, Michael Fassbender are already uh, already in talks to join the cast. It's already a big cast. And they're adding Angela and Julie to the cast. That's going to be big, will be. Counselor Winter's Castle and Starting to be in June. And the plot is. Let's see. Fassbender as a lawyer who sticks he can rip, get rich from the drug game when he finds himself with a waiver's head. It's unclear. How Jolie Pitter Bardam might fit into this story. 
Yeah, but this sounds pretty cool, and I think Ridley Scott could do. He's a great director. And he's gonna work right out, go right to work on this out of Prometheus is out. So that is your TV, your movie news for today. Look out for tomorrow. It will be the box office report as usual on a Friday. And mostly that is, let's see, make sure everything's good. Yeah. I and that is it. Sorry for I got my notes here. I'm just trying to do a little, it's, it's everything's like spontaneous freestyle. I freestyle everything's on top of my head, so if I fuck up a little bit, that's just me. I love doing these videos. It's not for bunny, it's just for fun. I love doing them. So if you enjoy them, make sure you like the video, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter. I'm out. See you tomorrow for another edition. Bye.